Hi all. Uh, in this video, we will learn how to create a fixed asset model and how to create a, a product category and a product for this fixed asset. Uh, how to purchase assets. How to automate asset creation when uh, confirming vendor bills. How to sell or dispose assets. Now let's go to Udo to see how to uh, to do this transaction. Uh, here I am in accounting module. Uh, the first step is to create a fixed, uh, fixed asset model from configuration. Navigate to uh, asset models. We will find here uh, this uh, asset model. Name it uh, machine and equipment 12 months uh, straight line and uh, with this configuration. Here, here is the configuration of the account, fixed asset uh, account, and the accumulated depreciation account, and the uh, depreciation uh, expense account, and the journal. Uh, I will click save. The, sec the second step is to link uh, the fixed asset account with this model and automate the creation. Uh, of the fixed assets uh, from the vendor bills. I will uh, navigate to the, uh, the fixed asset account in the chart of account and I will find here uh, a tab called automation with uh, some options. Uh, the first option is automate assets with three options. Uh, no means to uh, to do not create uh, any assets in the fixed asset register. Uh, creating draft uh, means to create a fixed asset in draft status. Uh, create and validate means create a running assets with the, the configuration of the linked uh, asset model to this uh, uh, fixed asset. Manage item means to um, uh, take in account uh, the, the, uh, the the quantity uh, in the vendor bills when you purchase this uh, assets you should create the same uh, quantity in the fixed asset register like if i purchase five machines uh, the system will create five fixed assets uh, in the fixed asset register asset model uh, here I have to link this model with uh, this fixed asset uh, uh, account. Okay, after that I will uh, save uh, this account. The next step is to create a product category for fixed assets. From configuration, product categories. We will find here all the product categories and we will find here the fixed asset uh, assets uh, product categories with this configuration name fixed assets costing method uh, a standard price uh, inventory valuation manual without selecting the income and expense account okay if i click on this uh, smart button to see the uh, all the products inside this product category we'll find here uh, uh, fixed asset products like this one machinery and equipment one okay uh, this product you can name it uh, like machinery and equipment two storable product and in the accounting tab we have to select the uh, the fixed asset uh, account related to uh, this type of assets uh, which is machinery and equipment in the expense account and the same account in the income account okay then save now i need to uh, purchase this uh, this asset uh, so I will uh, navigate to vendor bills, create new vendor bill for vendor one. I will purchase this asset in the 1st of January and the accounting date will be the same. Okay. 
because the uh, the generation of the uh, assets will take this uh, this date okay uh, I will choose the, the product which is asset 2 okay uh, machine and equipment 2 sorry and we will find here the linked account appearing the account uh, cola in the quantity I will uh, I will purchase uh, five units with uh, two two thousand per unit two thousand real two thousand real per unit okay then I will click save if I confirm this vendor bill the system should create five uh, five fixed assets with the same name of this product okay now I will click confirm uh, now we can see the smart button in red color with five assets uh, red color means uh, a draft fixed assets okay if I go to the fixed asset register I will find here uh, the five fixed uh, the five uh, fixed assets created with the same name with the sequence from 1 to 5 uh, the acquisition date the 1st of January 2022 uh, original value uh, 2000 per, uh, per, one, per, per unit okay straight line uh, method first depreciation will be the end of uh, the acquisition months okay and the status is draft if I uh, select the first one, I will find here uh, the the uh, the same configuration uh, related to uh, the fixed asset uh, model. Okay, I can change it. Okay, or keep it. Uh, now, if I click compute depreciation, the system will calculate and generate uh, a draft journal entries for the depreciation expense uh, uh, entries based on the configuration uh, of this asset if i confirm it the system will post all the previous previous uh, journal entries till uh, the date of today now uh, now we are in the uh, uh, 22 of September and the system post to all the journal entry till the last month uh, the end of last month okay now this fixed asset uh, replicable value or the current value of this asset is 783.33 Point thirty one uh, Saudi Arabia. Okay. Now I have two options to sell or dispose this asset. I will sell uh, this asset for uh, one thousand, which mean I I make an income, uh, which equal the uh, the difference between the uh, uh, the principal value and the uh, the selling price. 1000 minus 733.31 which mean 260 point uh, 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 216.69 uh, okay now I need to tell or uh, to sell this asset or create a customer invoice to sell this asset I will take it the name of this product okay and I will create a new uh, invoice customer invoice for customer one I will put the date and I will choose this this product and I will sell this uh, this asset for 1000 okay then I will click save confirm the system will generate 
uh, a journal entry for this uh, invoice uh, debit uh, receivable and credit value added tax and uh, credit the fixed asset account with the 1000 okay the invoice number is uh, number seven I will back to the fixed assets then I will click uh, sell or dispose I will see here two options sell or dispose I will uh, choose sell then I will choose the, uh, the customer invoice for selling this asset and the system automatically recognize uh, that I will make a gain from this uh, uh, customer invoice transaction okay after that I will click sell the system will close this uh, fixed asset and uh, generate uh, this closing journal entry we can see here the system generate uh, this line to close uh, the original value of uh, the fixed asset by 2000 okay and the close also the accumulated depreciation and close the uh, this line from the uh, from the invoice okay and recognize the gain from this transaction okay uh, now we need to see how to dispose assets if we go uh, back to the uh, the assets I'm gonna get to the uh, the next assets I will confirm it okay but uh, but now I will dispose this asset if we look at the uh, depreciation uh, transaction we will find here uh, that the deprecable uh, value is uh, 783.31 okay and I will click here dispose sell or dispose and I choose dispose when I choose dispose the system will uh, uh, will automatically uh, retrieve the uh, the expense account okay after that I will click dispose to confirm disposal system will close the, the fixed asset and generate the uh, the closing journal entry and we will see here the closing of the original value of this asset and the closing of uh, uh, accumulated depreciation and the recognition of the uh, uh, the expense account or the the, the loss from uh, disposing this asset okay uh, that's uh, that's all for now uh, thank you for watching this video Shukran.